Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. This is my game plan. Let's see. I need to leave. Hi. over there. You're gonna make organizing this room so hard for me, aren't you? Who knows what lies ahead? I don't. And isn't that exciting? It's Wednesday, I just got out of therapy. It's just more moving stuff, more moving stuff. Actually, that's not gonna be happening today. Today, um, I am getting my, I'm getting my nails done. It, it's so silly, it feels like a little bit of a, when I have like other things going on, it feels like a waste of time, but um, it is gonna be my birthday nails. So I want them to look cute. I did, I did schedule for like a little add-on design. So I kind of want to do like a little checkerboard. I think that could be cute. I kind of want to do, I went with this like really pretty apple green. I want to see if I can maybe do a chartreuse. This Hi baby. Either chartreuse or like a really pretty like cobalt blue. And then I want to do like a checker design on like, I was thinking maybe my ring finger and my thumb. And then on the other one, it could be like my index finger and my pinky. So that way it kind of like trades off. Uh, we shall see. And then I'm gonna, going to be coming back home and probably organizing the stuff that I already have here a little bit. And then um, I'm actually going to be editing because I have like part one of this like moving vlog thing, part one. I don't know if it's actually gonna be called part one, but part one. And then um, I also have like a cute little baking video that I wanna edit. Miss Pepper. Hello. I love you. Do you know how much I love you? Nails all done. So cute. It turned out very precious. I probably, the colors were a little off from how they looked on the sample sheet. Like I wanted this green to be more of a chartreuse. This red wasn't gonna be quite so berry. I wanted it to be more of a punchy red. I still think they're super cute. And I'm very happy with them. So my computer's restarting because there was an update. Um, suddenly my computer lost Bluetooth capability. I was like, what? But while my computer restarts, this is my game plan. Let's see, I need to leave my house in two hours. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start both of the videos that I want to make because I've tried many times in the past to just like, to like, I'm like, oh, I can edit a video in one day. No problem. I can't. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is that I'm essentially just going to make each project where I'm going to import and organize all of the footage. Um, maybe even drop it into the timeline just so I know the order of everything. And then tomorrow um, I'll be able to go in and focus on the little baking video because that's going to be much faster to make. So I'll be able to go in and focus on that. And then after that I might, I'm bringing, the friend I'm seeing today is taking my table from me. Um, so I'm also going to be getting that in my car. I was going to take the legs off, but I think I'll fit in my car even with the legs on. I just don't want to take them off because I'm lazy. Um, laziness does not exist. I don't want to take them off because I don't want to spend the time to take them off. So I think then I may try and finish that painting or I should probably try and organize a little bit. Oh, probably gonna try and organize a little bit 
I want to paint, but I can paint on stream tomorrow. So, ugh, whatever. I also need to finish this soylent. Get some calories in me. Oh, hello. It's VoiceOver Cheyenne, here to tell you all about this video sponsor, Squarespace. As y'all know, Squarespace is the incredible all-in-one platform where you can build the blog, online shop, portfolio, etc. that you've been dreaming of for however long. I have been using Squarespace for my website for the last four years, I think? Time is wild, and I've loved using them. I'm actually going to be, spoilers, I'm going to be opening up my shop this fall for the first time in over two years, and I'm having a lot of fun scrolling through all of their beautiful templates, digging into all of their e-commerce tools and their analytics, and seeing kind of how I can prepare my site for success. And the UI is very easy to use, so it's very easy to get in there and overhaul my entire site. So I'm very excited to play around and see what see what happens if you have had a website that you've been wanting to make for ages that's just been rattling around in your brain you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial build your website out and then when you are ready to launch it into the world head to squarespace.com slash cheyenne barton for 10 percent off your first purchase happy internetting and thank you again to squarespace so i say organize i essentially just mean to make this pile a little neater. I also remembered I have to get rid of this bookshelf. Pepper. Oh yeah. Meow. Meow. Okay, so squiggly little one. Is this too close of an angle? Well, too bad. <laughs> Today is Thursday. Today I need to go to the studio. Today I need to stream. I need to go to the studio and I want to fill up my car. Hopefully fill up my car. Hopefully the dolly is available. And get a bunch of stuff home. And then, because tomorrow uh, I'm going to have some help hopefully clearing out the rest of my stuff from the studio. I also need to rent my U-Haul today. And then um, I did get rid of my black bookshelf. So, oh, hi, Soph. Hi, <laughs> baby. Um, I was able to get rid of my black bookshelf. Found someone to take it off my hands. Hi, honey. Hi. She's coming to inspect the camera. Light of my life. I'm going to take the black book home off my hands. And then I, I've also been really into making these little, uh, they're called African flower granny squares. I don't know why that's the design name, but I've made a bunch of them. I've just been making like one a day before I go to bed. And I'm hoping if I keep this up soon, I'll have enough to make like a blanket, like an actual proper size, like throw blanket. And I won't cop out after like 20 squares and make a cat size blanket. I think these will be so cute. I'm trying to just use up all of my, I have a lot of super wash wool yarn that I was going to use for my temperature blanket that I'm no longer making. So I digress. Um, my computer has also been really acting up on me. I don't know why it's like so weird. Like certain things take a really, really long time when they shouldn't. My file explorer keeps crashing. And like right now I'm trying to update some of my drivers, but like the up, the updater itself, I think, has like crashed. It's just very frustrating. So I'm gonna have some cereal. I'm gonna go to the studio, load up my car, come back here, stream. I don't know what I'm gonna stream. Obviously, I would love to stream Tears of the Kingdom. Who am not gonna do that? I will probably stream me editing. Probably editing a video. It would be the video before this one. Editing on stream is always nice. I make it so that like people can't hear the audio from DaVinci Resolve so they can't hear whatever it is that I'm editing. Otherwise, that would just be a nightmare for everyone because you would just listen to me repeat myself over and over and over and over again <laughs> and saying um and like and my weird long pauses. So I'll probably be editing that and then I need to record. Um, I can record my Patreon podcast either today or tomorrow depending on like what works out. So great, cool. I'm gonna have some cereal.
from me. I feel good though. I feel good. I also, you know, some stuff I'm like, oh, I could actually give this to Goodwill. Like I have, a cute, that, I have a cute desk lamp that I'm like, I'm not, I have no need for this now. I feel good. I am going to be getting rid, man, I'm going to be getting rid of these two desks, which is going to suck because this desk is so good. It's such a good desk. <laughs> and I wonder if, I don't think I'll be able to, it, it's definitely not the kind of desk, that, it's definitely not the kind of idea, Ikea desk that's easy to take apart because it's the it's the standing desks that you raise up and down. I think I'm just gonna keep it. Cause I can just put stuff under it and on top of it in storage. So, I'm gonna bring stuff down to my car. Feels weird to have this empty. Oh, and I also took, took all the, my God, it's so, it's just a blank space now. So there's like, no, also, I, I'm sorry again, this is 30 millimeters, so it's a tight shot. Um, this wall is now completely empty which is also wild. I feel like I had so many YouTube videos of me sitting against that wall. And I'm glad that it can at least like, you know, live in memoriam in that way. Because I did love how it turned out. And I have, but I have my little corner at home and I'm also gonna make another corner with all of this art. So it'll be fine. This desk, this like big, okay, here. This desk. Oh, this one that all my stuff is on. So this is 63 inches across and I'm going to put it on the wall where my desk that I disassembled yesterday. Oh, that's crooked. Yes, oh, I have to take my curtains too. Shit, I forgot that I put these up. Oh, what am I gonna do with these? Well, well, <gasps> I actually might be able to use these Oh shit, that's exciting. Going to take this up home. Um, I'm very confident that I'll be able to finish getting the rest of this out of here tomorrow. So then on Monday, I booked to you all this morning, so then on Monday, we'll be able to move all the furniture out of here. I will have three friends helping me, so it should be a quick job. So I'll we'll be able to move all the furniture out of here, and then I will have Tuesday and Wednesday to clean and stock the walls so I can get my security deposit back. It's the end of a chapter. At the beginning of a new one. Also, I'm just like looking at all of the stuff that I've made over the years, because it's merch from my store, like what, two years ago? Because I closed January of 2021. So cute. But I'm gonna go home so I can get ready for a street.
I'm not doing well today. <laughs> I don't handle moving very well. Hang on, I have to unplug my cat's fountain. Like my, um, my mother said this when she came up at the end of March to help me organize my apartment and prepare to move out of my studio. Oh, Sophie. Oh, I have the, I have the camera on her tower. Are you okay, honey? Are you gonna come down? Don't knock the camera over. Okay, hang on. No, it's okay, baby. I don't want you to hurt your little paws. Let the baby. As um, my mother said, she said, Cheyenne, you are good at so many things, and this is not one of them. <laughs> Which I think is a very sweet and true thing to say because I am good at a lot of stuff but when it comes to like when it comes to figuring out moving and organizing it's very hard for me it's very difficult I am also about to start my period so my all of my coping mechanisms that I use to like manage uh, feelings of like overwhelm um, and stress like this all of none of those coping mechanisms are working right now uh, which is also just very frustrating so I'm going to be getting the rest of the stuff out of my studio tonight so that when I pick up my U-Haul on Monday and I have some friends that are gonna help me move it's gonna be three of us um, <clears throat> maybe four but it's gonna be a handful of us It'll be so much easier to move all of the furniture out. It's all gonna be fine, but now I'm like, shit, now I'm gonna have to organize everything. I'm gonna have to figure out how it's going to fit in this space. I, like, I really do think I'm gonna be okay. It's just this little transitional period. It just feels bad. My home is a mess, which doesn't feel good. I am in a state of overwhelm, so it's like almost impossible for me to prioritize. And I'm just, I'm gonna journal about it a little bit. I just started drawing a little blushy emoji for my for my Discord server and for my Twitch streams because I was like, oh, this is a this is like a little. I was like, that's an emote I don't have. I also need to update my emotes and my PNG tuber to have pink hair, but that's not a high priority item right now. And I wish it was, but it's not. My main thing that I need to do is I need to edit the video that I uploaded before this one. I'm gonna journal for a bit and then I'm gonna do that. I just wish. I just wish it wasn't so hard for me to do things that should be very simple. And I know, I know, oof, I know that's kind of like what executive dysfunction is. It just sucks. And it reminds me as, as to why ADHD and autism both are classified as disabilities. <laughs> um, under the ADA, so. I also Instacarted some groceries because I haven't been grocery shopping in probably two weeks. And so I just Instacarted some stuff so I at least have good fruits and yummy things for breakfast and some frozen meals that I can rely on. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. It's just like, this is very embarrassing. It's embarrassing, I think is the main feeling. So I'm gonna journal about it. I might do some yoga about it. And then I'm gonna have some food about it. I'm gonna be a-okay. I just have to get through the next like four days. <laughs>
So, as you can see, my apartment is a wreck, but I can also see that it is slowly becoming less of a wreck. So I'm going to be picking up my U-Haul at 5 p.m. tonight. Martin and Sailor um, and Aries are gonna be helping me move stuff tonight. Um, I was able to get all of the stuff out of my studio, so now the only stuff left is like the actual furniture, which is awesome. That's exactly what I wanted, and Aries helped me dismantle the shelves, which is also great. Oh, I'm sorry, Pepper. I really need to need to clean their fountain. Things are things are falling a bit through the cracks right now because I've got a lot on my mind. All right, but as I start kind of shuffling stuff around. I'm feeling more and more optimistic, I guess, optimistic that I'm gonna be able to organize everything. I'm gonna have to keep some stuff in my basement just cause like I won't have room, but it's stuff that I'm hoping will find another home. Um, I think actually today, while I take my little lunch break, I think I'm going to send an email to White Squirrel and like just finally submit that application cause I've been putting it off frankly for months longer than I should have been. So I'm gonna send that off and then maybe I can be in talks with them when I get back from Sweden. I, I'm go, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. It's just a matter, it's just it's the logistics of figuring out where everything's gonna go that's kind of killing me. But I really do think it's gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna be plugging away on this. I also need to double check what my instructions are because it's Memorial Day and I think that U-Haul should be open. And so I'm like, I don't know what businesses are closed on Memorial Day and what businesses aren't. I don't pay attention to federal holidays because none of them apply to me. So. Uh, I'm gonna just double check because I'm doing a mobile pickup. So need to make sure that I know what I'm doing. Oh, and that's at five. So I need to leave here shortly before then. Hi, baby. Highlight of my life. Hi. What's up? Hi. <laughs> you are, <laughs> you're so cute. Also, I've been playing so much Tears of the Kingdom. Pretty much every like free moment I have, I'm spending playing Tears of the Kingdom. It's just so good. I just finished the water temple. So I've done the wind, fire, and water temples. And I'm onto the Gerudo desert. So I guess that means Gerudo, Gerudo, um, which means I'm guessing it's the earth temple, lightning temple. And then I know that there's the temple in the depths that I have to do. And the reason why I know it's a have to and not like a you could do is because it's in the main quest. It's in the main quest section on the adventure log, which means that I have to go into the depths and I have to find this big ass fucking temple because I bet that's where the, f that's where the fifth power comes from because we're getting, we're getting a power for each, for each finger on our little cursed hand. And I'm like, well, I have, I have three of the four from the surface now. But I have two fingers left. I've gone with the ring finger and the middle finger. So I'm just like, I don't want to, I hate the depths. I'm, it's the thing where it's like, I, I, I both am filled with dread and terror every time I go into the depths, but I am also filled with such like sickening curiosity. Cause I'm like, I just, I want to know. But every time I throw a broom, bloom, bright bloom seed, I'm just like, oh no. Uh, and the hands. It's so scary, but it's so good. So I'm excited. I'm really happy that I got all of this, the rest of, I'm glad that I moved out everything from the studio on Saturday. Um, it feels, feels good. So, okay, I'm gonna have lunch now. I just kind of keep thinking, thinking about my game, thinking about my game plans and things. probably looks exactly the same to you, but there's actually been a lot of really great progress made here. So quite a few of my boxes, I built that shelf, got some stuff on there. 
Got some more stuff over here. I did put uh, some stuff in my hallway that I'm planning on taking down to storage. I also have some stuff in my bedroom, obviously. Yeah, I haven't made my bed, whatever. And this is some of the stuff I'm also taking down stairs, but I wanted to clear a pathway because we'll be coming up here and I'm gonna be bringing my desk through here, which is gonna live here. And then I'll have another shelf that's gonna live here. And I made a lot of good progress today and I feel very optimistic that I'm gonna be able to fit everything in this little apartment of mine. Um, and it's just gonna take some clever, it's just gonna take a little bit of finagling. Also this little box shelf situation is also gonna be great. Um, and then I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna buy another thing for my stickers, keep those on top of each other down there. Um, there's a chance I might move that plant so that way those aren't pressed right up against each other, but I do kind of rather like that plant there, so. We shall see, but yeah, I'm feeling good. So now I'm just getting ready to go. I'm gonna take a little bit of a, gonna take a little bit of a load off, play a little bit of Zelda, and then get ready to go grab my U-Haul and move everything from my studio. Oh my God. God, she's so cute. <laughs> I think my favorite thing is when I just... Oh. <laughs> I'm coming to you from this angle so you can see the hell I'm dealing with. I got started a lot later today than I wanted to. It is 1 p.m. I didn't get out of bed until 10.30, um, which I think is warranted. Yesterday was a very long day. Hi, Pepper. <laughs> You're gonna make organizing this room so hard for me, aren't you? <laughs> so it's 1 p.m. Took my Adderall at 11.30, which is much later than I, actually I took it at noon, which is much later than I should be taking it. So I'm gonna be up very late tonight. But that's fine. Um, I'm going to brush my teeth. Hi, Pepper. I'm going to brush my teeth, grab a Soylent out of my fridge, and then pop over to my studio. Um, I'm going to pick up some putty on the way, some, like, wall putty. Um, I'm also going to make sure to bring my vacuum um, and my Swiffer. And I'm really hoping... Hi, Pep, my baby. Hi. I'm really hoping that if I play my cards right... I'll be able to, um, I won't need to repaint the walls. I'm anticipating maybe needing to repaint the walls. Cause the thing is, is that like in my, in the, in the contract for the thing, it was like, if you end up having to like spackle fairly large holes, like please don't just paint the section, please paint the entire wall. I'm doing all my spackling today. Um, so then if I realize that, oh shit, I do need to paint, then I can do that tomorrow. Um, they have like the exact color of paint uh, listed in the contract that we're supposed to buy from Home Depot if we do need to paint pepper. There's so many new things for them to rub their faces all around. I look around. I, again, I'm optimistic I'm gonna be able to organize this space. It's just a matter of actually organizing the space. It's gonna take me a while and it's gonna be exhausting, but it's gonna be fine and I think it'll be fun. So I can't decide if I wanna do, I mean, I kinda just wanna do everything in this video, but I can't decide if I wanna do like, I'm like, do I wanna do my organizing and my moving in this one or do I wanna make it separate videos? But then if it's separate videos, that's like more for me to edit. So I might just keep it all in one video. We'll see, Cheyenne. Oh, Pepper. Hi, baby. My goodness. So I'm just gonna brush my teeth. Um, hi, honey. Put my sweatshirt on, get my cleaning supplies and get ready to Pop over to the studio. Huh, my love? 
Sophie is, where's my baby? I think she's in one of her, she's in one of her little towers, one of her little spots. Uh, I guess before I leave, I'll show you, well, did I show you yesterday? I don't think I showed you after we finished moving. We managed to get everything out and done and here by, my, the U-Haul was returned by 8.30. It was great. And then Aries and I just came back here and ate McDonald's and watched TV. <laughs> and it was very nice. Um, or we watched anime. Oh my God. I'm watching Skip and Loafer. It's so fucking cute, y'all. It's such a cute anime. Let's get her done. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so let me kind of show you what we're working with here. So, so I've got my new desk over here. I had to take my mirror down from here. So it's over there now. Um, but I think this little spot's gonna be pretty okay. And then obviously I've got my little yellow shelf there. I kind of want to put plants all on the top and then use the bottom two shelves for storage. I think that would be really cute. Um, and then of course, got my little mountain of boxes over there. There's a pepperoni. Um, got my mountain of boxes over there. Starting to organize. Got my Alex drawers here, my trusty dusty Alex drawers. My printer's gonna live on top of there. I'm gonna figure out what to put over there. I'm gonna, I really do need to get a second one of that. And also, this desk is so big that I'm also probably gonna be able to do some like storage on the desktop. I don't think my monitor's gonna live in the middle. I think I might have it live slightly off to the side. And then my bedroom, God, my bedroom. This is all stuff I wanna bring down to my storage because it's things I don't need up here. Um, I've got this full length mirror now in my bedroom, which will be nice. Uh, Cause since I got rid of my wardrobe, I don't have a full length mirror in here anymore. So that'll be nice. Um, and then I just have, these are, things that are mostly like fabric stuff. And since this is kind of my like yarn and fabric shelf, I want to organize it all into here. Um, this is gonna be definitely like a secondary project for me. I am prioritizing the living room. So, um, and then of course I've just got shit in my kitchen too. So more stuff that needs to go downstairs, merchandise, recycling. The recycling bins for my building are very small, so sometimes recycling just piles up. Um, my friend Allegra from the show that I was in from Sense Sensibility, the person that I was understudying for Marianne, they're on a contract right now in Minnesota for the Great River Shakespeare Festival. So I will be Pepper's chasing her tail. There, but they're gonna be mo moving to Seattle pretty much after they get back from Minnesota. I was like, are you gonna need a desk? Cause I can just hold on to my, this extra desk for you. And they were like, yes, please. So holding on to that for them. Also figuring out how I wanna hang stuff. My walls are plaster and lath and my landlord is very much like, please try to not drill holes into the wall or nail holes on the wall. If you can avoid it, please use like command strips and stuff. But I have a somewhat heavy, I have this really cute yellow mirror from my studio. Where's your reflection? There you are. Hello. Um, so I have this really cute yellow mirror um, that I need to clean, but I want to hang that up. And it's a little heavy, and so I'm nervous that the command strip won't hold it up. So I'm, I'm wondering if I might be able to just like nail a little something into the wall. I was looking it up online, and it's just a matter of kind of making sure you don't nail into the lath, I think it is, like the wooden lath, because then that can disrupt the plaster, so it's just a matter of actually just nailing through the plaster. Gosh, just so cool. I'm gonna go by a local hardware store and grab some tools and then get to clean it. Oh, okay. Done, buddy. This is this is pretty surreal. Also, my God, it is so epic. Okay. Well. to get cleaning. Wow. Okay, we can be sent up later, gotta clean.
So I realize that sonically, this is probably very unpleasant, but um, hopefully talking into my phone somewhat quietly helps a bit. Um, I've spackled the walls. I vacuumed, I swiffered. The spackle's actually already almost dry, I think. Um, I'm gonna double check my contract, but they do say that like if the, if the spackling is obvious, you have to like repaint the whole wall. Ideally, I would love to not have to repaint this whole unit. So, oh, I think there's a couple more little holes or marks over there. There's also a couple marks on the walls that aren't coming off with the magic eraser. Um, so my mom also recommended like dish soap. So I might get some Dawn and see what that does. Yeah. It's, I have this very, I have this very strange feeling of, <sighs> there's this feeling of like, you know, the end of an era, the closing of a chapter. The fact that I was in this space for two and a half years and now I'm going to be out of it. And simultaneously, I'm excited. I'm excited to be able to work from home again and hang out with my cats. I'm excited to have all of my creative stuff in one place. I'm excited to reorganize and find a new routine. And it just feels, it feels like, because it is, just a new era in my life. And I am, I am so grateful. I turned 29 in a little over a week and I'm thinking about how I remember I made my video where it's like, I'm turning, what was it? I'm turning 26, I think. I was, so if I'm turning 29, 26 would have been in 2021. I made a video, I remember, cause I was just like, well, we'll see what 26 holds. And now we're gonna see what 29 holds. This is the right thing to do, leaving this spot. I thought I'd be way more like crying emotional, but I'm emotional in other ways. Mostly good ones, good emotions. I also have to figure out what to do with my internet modem. Um, I am gonna go home and just like check on my lease and stuff and then come back tomorrow, do one final sweep and then drop off my keys and everything. Thank you. Thank you for said this before, but like, thank you for letting me be a part of your world because the internet is very big and filled with a lot of stuff. And whether, I don't know, maybe this, maybe this is the first video of mine that you're watching or maybe you've been here for a bit or whatever, but like, regardless, I'm truly grateful that you have chosen to spend any of your very precious time with me. And in doing so have, and in doing so have given me, I think the coolest life I could ever ask for. So thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry I never did a studio tour. I hope that all of the footage that I, it's just one room. So I hope that all the footage I filmed gave you an accurate enough idea of what this space looked like. <laughs> but it has served me so well and I'm ready to say goodbye. So. Thank you for everything. Appreciate ya. I'm going, I think, to end this video here. I know that I was just talking about whether or not I was gonna do the organizing in this one or whatever, but I think that'll be in another vlog. I think that this is a good sort of like visual to end on, you know? Also apologies for the door not being center in the frame. There's not much I can do about that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this video here. So thanks for watching. I wanna say thank you so much to my patrons. My patrons were the reason I was able to rent this studio in the first place. Thanks to them, I was able to furnish it and decorate it and make it a very cool, fun little, little, little sanctuary. I really did love this spot. I loved coming to work. And 
now I get to have, get to bring my sanctuary home again. So thank you to my patrons. Um, you guys rock, but you know that. I'll sing your praises every opportunity I get. I also just want to say thank you to you. Like I said, thanks for being here. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for spending your time with me. And who knows what lies ahead? I don't. And isn't that exciting? I love you so much. Stay frosty out there. And I will see you on the flip side. Adieu.